Hello soulmates, it is absolutely a pleasure to have you on my channel once more. If this is your first time checking out my channel, you are absolutely welcome. And on this channel, I teach you how to do DIY fashion at home. If this is your first time being here with me, please do not leave without subscribing. Turn on the post notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I make a video. So today I will be showing you how to make an off-shoulder bodice. Now this is a very trendy type of fashion that is wearing now and it would be so awesome if you knew how to make it at home. So to get started, we have to take in consideration some measurements that we will need. These measurements are very important in order to get the perfect off-shoulder bodies so the first measurement you're going to need is your round shoulder measurement so you're going to take your tape measure and you're going to measure all the way around your shoulder in this case if you look at my sketch here you see um, all the way around the shoulder area and that is 42 for me you're also going to need just to make it easy to find your neck width you're going to find your bra strap to bra strap measurement mine in this case is 12 you're also going to need your nipple point measurements there are also some specific calculations that you're going to do but when we get into the video then I will explain so let's get started so here I have the front of this bodice so I have some lines drawn but don't worry I'll explain to you what each lines are so here I have my off shoulder so that's where my off shoulder is going to start so for an off shoulder bodice you always take off some inches um, off your main bodice in order to achieve this in this case I took off four and a half inches because when I when I want to finish sewing it up if I'm gonna use this to turn with a lining I want it to be five inches so I took four and a half inches so from that starting point right here I'm going to put my four and a half inches then I'm going to take my vertical measurements all the way down so here I have from my four and a half that I took off, I'm gonna have my chest line, which is 8.5, my bust point line, my under bust measurement, which is 14, and my waist and the seam allowance that I have left for this. So this is just the upper part of this um, bodice. You could extend it to make a dress by putting your hip line, or you could make a, um, to make a shirt or you could make a dress but you can also add a peplum to this using your half length okay so let's get started first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to impute my nipple to nipple measurement and I'm gonna put that at my waist so I'm gonna treat this as if I'm working on my fabric so at my waist I'm going to put four and a half inches my nipple to nipple point measurement is is eight inches you divide that by two you're going to get four but i add half an inch seam allowance for to join it together okay so i'm going to put four and a half and i'm going to draw that line i also put it on my bust point line and i'm going to take this all the way down okay so at my waist i'm going to impute my dark measurement so at my waist i want a dart of um, three quarter inch on both sides so in all it's one and a half inch okay so three quarter inch on my waist and at my under bust I'm gonna go in quarter inch remember I told you when we're drafting the bust here always going quarter inch so one inch at my under bust and I put it on both sides of that four and a half inch line now I'm going to connect those lines now I'm going to take my curve ruler and I'm going to take a curve from my bust point like this 
and I'm gonna make another curve right here on the other side okay so there you have your dart being formed now remember this is going to be a bustier um, pattern so you're going to need two darts so what I'm going to do this four and a half inch line there are some persons who square it all the way up I do not do it that way because when you finish sewing it together you're going to have this line um, positioned this way towards your bust area and you don't want it to look that way you want it to look as straight as possible so to this line that four and a half inch you're going to add one more inch at the top of your paper so now I'm going to have five and a half inches so now you're going to take that five and a half inch and then you're going to connect it to this point okay so there you have it your five and a half inch point now at this point you are going to put whatever measurement you have on your underbust I have one inch on both sides so I'm gonna put one inch on both sides here okay and I'm going to connect it to that bus point line okay I hope you understand what I'm doing okay so there you have it your darts are being made now we're going to put our vertical measurements in so at my waist my waist is 34 inches and when I did that divide that by 4 I'm going to get 8.5 so 8.5 will go here but then I have these two darts that I took out and that's one and a half inch more so 8.5 is here plus this one and a half inch dart that I took out right there so I'm, I have to pay that back plus I'm going to need seam allowance to join the panels together so that's one inch and then I'm going to need side seam allowance that is another inch okay so let me do that again my 8.5 which is my waist this dart measurement here which is 1.5 that's what I have right here then I need one inch to join the panels together plus another inch to join the sides of my dress or my bodice so at my bust point now I'm going to impute my bust at my chest measurement I'm going to impute my bust bust measurement so my bust is 42 quarter 42 is 10.5 okay so 10.5 will be here okay but then I will have to take in consideration this dart that is here which is three quarters of an inch so you're going to add that back right here plus you need one inch to sew it together that's here plus you need another inch for the side seam allowance that's right there okay I hope you understand what I just did and then you're going to connect these two lines remember to always check your measurements to ensure that you have it correct so let me go over the bust again my bust is 10.5 that's right here then this piece dart that you're going to take out which is three quarters of an inch it goes here okay then one inch to sew it together then another inch for the side seam what do I put here to know what you're going to put at this point you have to get your bra strap to bra strap measurement so in this case from my bra strap to my other bra strap is 12 inches so now you're going to divide this 12 by 2 because now we're working on the front usually it, it, usually it would be for the front and the back so the 12 for the front and 12 for the back but we're working on the front and remember we're on fold so you have to divide this this 12 inches by 2 you're gonna get 6 inches so here I'm going to put my 6 inches plus this 2 inch dart that I'm going to take out that is 8 inches plus I need 1 inch to sew it together that's 9 inches so let me do that again 8 inch inches or six inches for my bra from my bra strap to my bra strap which is my neck width plus 
this two inches eight inches plus one inch to sew it together that's nine inches so I'm gonna take this and I'm going to connect that nine inch point with a slight curve to my point right there there you have it you could in order to ease this area you could go down and half an inch right there okay if you don't want it too tight you can go come down half an inch like this and then you're going to make your curve right here so also come down half an inch if you don't want that area to be too tight so there you're going to have it so this is your front um, bodies so for the neck width the neck width you're going to determine whatever neck width you want okay you could you could draw it here and take it down or you could have a V neckline or a sweetheart neckline but to get your neck width remember you took off four and a half inches so if you want a neck width of um, six inches it's going to be here because remember you took off the four and a half from the front okay or if you want seven inches it doesn't matter it depends on you so to get a so you're going to go like that but I would advise you do not cut off the neck width before you join your darts together join your darts first and then you cut out your neck width afterwards okay so now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to cut this out remember at this point you blend it up I was supposed to tell you blend it so that you don't have sharp edges okay you don't want it too sharp at that area and also this area right there okay. so there you have it now for the back piece okay remember you have to leave uh, um, your zipper alone so here I have my zipper alone what for one inch remember do not forget that okay that's my zipper allowance okay so for the back you're going to need your off shoulder which is four and a half and from that you're going to have your chest line your to your waist and your seam allowance remember you don't need your bust point at the back of your pattern okay so now I'm just going to impute my four and a half inches at my waist and I'm going to take it all the way up to the back remember there's no dart at the top of the back so you don't need to do that so I'm squaring that all the way up so now I'm gonna take half an inch on both sides and I'm gonna come down one inch and I'm going to connect this here so now you're going to put your measurements your ver your vertical measurements mine is 8.5 for my waist plus this one inch 9.5 plus one inch to sew it together 10.5 plus one more inch 11.5 my bust you're going to have 10.5 for my bust okay plus one inch to sew this together 11.5 plus side seam allowance 12.5 okay so that's 10.5 plus one inch to sew this 11.5 plus one more inch for side seam allowance that's 12.5 and I'm going to connect okay so what do I have here 
remember at the front we said that we did six inches right so we have our six inches here plus one inch to sew it together seven inches okay so six inches plus one inch to sew it together seven inches so now you're going to connect this point but remember we went down a half an inch so we have to do the same thing here and that my friends is the back of your measurement it's as easy as that so now i'm going to cut this out so now i'm cutting this out this also to slit the back open And you can always do the manipulation I taught you about the, for the zipper bulging at the back. So this is what you're going to have for the back pattern. Okay. So let's move on now to the... Remember to label them. Label them so that you don't get confused. So now for the sleeve. So in order to get your sleeve, you're going to take your length of the sleeve you want, right? So that's my length, 10 and a half. Then I'm going to impute my capsite measurement. Remember, I teach you how to take capsite measurements. So go ahead and take your capsite measurement. And I'm going to connect that line, okay? So on my capsite measurement, I'm going to put my half of my armhole plus one inch so that's 8.5 plus one inch that is 9.5 okay and at my this area I'm going to put my around my arm which is six inches my arm is 12 okay plus one inch to sew it together and I'm going to connect this point okay now at this point, remember, now you're going to need your round shoulder measurement. Remember we said my round shoulder measurement is 42 and my bra strap is 12, 12 for the front, 12 for the back. So that is 24 inches. So now I'm going to take away 42 minus 24. That's going to give me 18 inches. Okay. So now this 18 inches, remember we said that we are going to, we are going to, um, we didn't do joining allowance for, for that. We just use the six inches, right? So we have to take away two inch from this. Okay. And that's going to give us 16 inches. So let me go over that back. So you have 42 inches. Right? That's the round shoulder. You're going to take away your, your bra strap measurement, which is 24, you'll get 18. So when you get this 18, you have to take away two inches because remember we didn't um, add joining seam allowance to this pattern. So now you have 16. All you have to do is divide this by four and this is going to give you four inches. So this is what you're going to put here, but then you're going to need seam allowance of a half an inch. So now you're going to put on this point four and a half inches. So that's what I'm going to put here. So that's it. And then you're going to make a connection with a slight curve. And there you have it. That is your sleeve pattern so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this this out
So this is your sleeve pattern. And this is the front, the back rather. So, so this is the back. And this, my friends, is the front of the pattern. So if you find this video helpful, do not forget to subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. Give me a thumbs up. And guess what? I will see you in my next video. Take good care and God bless you all.